Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so we're all created equal, but after what we create after we're created is not equal. And American small business owners are the proof of my concept. As small business owners, we work harder, risk more, sacrifice successfully, face hard decisions that no employee would care to bear or imagine. The chance to succeed is the opportunity we're all afforded by our great fortune to be Americans. So it's one thing to start from scratch and build a business that becomes great. Uh, that's what NFIB members do every day from coast to coast. It's another talent altogether to enter a business that's failing and turn it around. But that level of skill, wisdom, and talent is extraordinary. I'm not alone when I thought to myself for years and years, why can't we just get some real business leaders into our government and let them show America what is possible with a new style of leadership? Uh, there could be no greater example than our current President Trump and what he's accomplished in such a short time in his service to our country. Uh, Senator David Perdue shares many of those same magic qualities that our president has. Uh, he was the driving force behind the turnaround of several very big brands that were in very big trouble, both saving and then creating thousands of jobs for American workers. Uh, it was my honor several years ago to host then Mr. Perdue at my company when the NFIB endorsed him for his run to become our next senator. Uh, I like to believe the endorsement of the NFIB and of course the uh, photo op with me uh, played a critical role in the uh, uh, decisive election win. Uh, and all jokes aside, uh, Senator Perdue is the only Fortune 500 CEO in Congress. He's a champion for term limits, uh, reigning in out of control spending, growing the economy and tackling our nation's debt crisis. His leadership and management experience are the exact qualities that I hope to see on more election ballots in the future. Business leaders like President Trump and NFIB member Brian, Governor Brian Kemp and Senator David Perdue are paving the way for other great business leaders to get fired up, get onto a ballot, and get involved in the biggest turnaround of all time, the turnaround of the United States government. Uh, Senator Perdue has promised that he will limit himself to just two terms in Congress, at which point I would hope to see him seek higher office. And uh, if that should happen, I want to claim first right refusal to host him at my business for a second time for another NFIB endorsement. <laughs> I'd like to welcome Senator David Perdue. Max, that was a highlight of my political career. <laughs> <laughs> Now I gotta tell you, you know, I had breakfast at Thanks, Max, and I just, I, you know, I can't tell you how much I appreciated his attitude. He just, he, there was no ego involved. He said, and I asked him what he was doing, and he said, and he introduced me to all the people that work for him. And if you think about your business, uh, think about the jobs represented in this in this room. It's a really big deal. Uh, but I want to thank you, Max. I mean, it, it took a lot of courage. I think at the time that, that Max met me, my poll numbers were three percent with a 4% margin of error. That's true. <laughs> so it took a lot of guts to help me out in your operation, but I was so impressed with that, uh, the facility there and all the equipment they made for motorcycles. I'm a gearhead anyway, and, uh, and I had a cycle at the time, and uh, then I got elected, and I had to give up my cycle. So anyway, thank you, Max. I also want to call